They were losing 20 chicks a day. The farmer thought it was Newcastle disease. He dewormed. He tried antibiotics, then vitamins, then multivitamins. Nothing worked. The vet post-mortem told a different story. Necrotic enteritis. And the worst part? The culprit wasn't just the disease. It was the overuse of antibiotics that had weakened the gut and allowed Clostridium to thrive. Now what if I told you that this same farmer stopped the deaths in 48 hours using something from his kitchen? That's right, garlic, crushed, soaked overnight and mixed into drinking water. It didn't just stop the deaths, it changed the game for his entire flock. If you're a farmer struggling with chick mortality, poor weight gain, or constant relapses even after antibiotic treatment, this video could save your flock and your wallet. Today, I'll rank the three natural antibiotics that actually work, based on lab research, field trials, and real farmer results. I'll show you how oregano, thyme, and garlic stack up, how to use them, and what to avoid. And no, this isn't guesswork. It's poultry science applied to the village and semi-commercial farms of Kenya and beyond. If you care about healthier chickens and better profits, give this video a like, share it with another farmer, subscribe so you don't miss proven tips like this, and tell me where you're watching from around the world. I want to hear from Nakuru to Nigeria, Eldoret to Ecuador. Let me tell you why this matters, because the problem is bigger than you think. Right now, antimicrobial resistance is rising. In Kenya, over 70% of smallholder poultry farms report using antibiotics at least once a week during brooding. The cost of these drugs? An average of $45 every cycle on medication alone, not counting the feed wasted on sick birds or the market value lost when your broilers are underweight or your layers stop laying. I visited a farmer in Kiambu who had 800 layers after three cycles of tylosin and doxycycline, her egg production still hadn't gone above 55%. The birds were dull, the droppings were green, and she was losing hope. When we switched her from chemical antibiotics to a garlic oregano rotation, her lay rate jumped to 78% within two weeks, without a single egg withdrawal day. This is why the discussion around natural antibiotics is not just about organic farming. It's about survival, about sustainability, about profit, and about protecting the gut health of your birds before it's too late. But before we get to the solutions, let's break down what is really going on inside your birds. Bacterial diseases like colibacillosis, salmonellosis, mycoplasmosis, and necrotic enteritis thrive in stressed birds. Stress can come from bad brooding, poor ventilation, overcrowding, wet litter, or even inconsistent feed quality. But the real door they walk through, a weakened immune system and an inflamed gut. And here's the thing most farmers miss. Even if you kill the bacteria with antibiotics, you haven't repaired the gut, you haven't restored the balance of beneficial microbes, and in many cases, you've killed them off too. That's why you'll see birds recovering after treatment, only to crash again in a week. The gut lining is damaged, the villi are blunt, nutrient absorption drops, feed conversion becomes poor, and opportunistic bacteria like Clostridium and E. coli take over again. Now, modern research shows us that essential oils and phytobiotics, plant-based compounds, can do what antibiotics do without the destruction. A study published in Poultry Science in 2019 showed that oregano oil reduced mortality from necrotic enteritis by 44% with zero antibiotic residues in the meat. Another study from the International Journal of Veterinary Science showed that thyme extract, when used as a drinking water additive, improved weight gain in broilers by over 8% and lowered E. coli counts in the gut. Even more exciting, a meta-analysis by the FAO in 2021 found that garlic extract has strong inhibitory effects against salmonella and E. coli on par with tetracycline in lab settings, while also boosting gut immunity and digestive enzyme activity. These are not traditional herbs being thrown around casually. These are now recognized as bioactive, antimicrobial, antioxidant, and immunomodulatory agents in the poultry world. So how do they work? Oregano contains compounds like carvacrol and thymol that damage bacterial membranes, inhibit toxin production, and stimulate bile flow for digestion. Thyme, also rich in thymol, fights both bacteria and fungi while calming the gut and reducing inflammation. Garlic contains alicin, a sulfur compound that inhibits DNA replication in bacteria, meaning it literally stops them from multiplying and at the same time boosts phagocytic activity in the immune system. 
Think of them like trained dogs. They don't just chase the thieves, bacteria. They also guard the fence, gut barrier, and alert you when something's wrong, immune modulation. Let's get to the real question now. How do you use these on your farm? How much? How often? And does it actually work? Here's what we've seen, tested, and recommended to farmers like you. Hi there, my name's Peter, and I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. Layers, broilers, even some indigenous birds. Let me be honest, before I found this book, I was struggling. Feed prices were going up, antibiotics were becoming less effective, and my flock just wasn't performing like it used to. Then I came across The Organic Chicken Farmer's Guide by Dominic Ngafo and Mogweru Isaac. I decided to buy it, and I'll tell you something. It changed everything on my farm. This guide isn't theory, it's practical. It shows you how to use local, affordable things like garlic, neem, turmeric, aloe vera, even charcoal, to keep your birds healthy and productive. I started small. I tried the moringa and garlic in the water for a week. I noticed improved appetite, less coughing, and better energy. Now, I've built my own small black soldier fly setup for protein, and I'm using fermented feeds regularly. My birds are growing faster, my eggs are bigger. I'm saving money, and I haven't used antibiotics in months. The best part? The book is easy to understand. It speaks our language, not complicated science. And it's available in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Indonesian, so anyone can use it. If you're serious about poultry farming and want to move forward the smart way, scan the QR code you see on your screen or click the link in the description and the pinned comment. This book worked for me. I believe it can work for you too. Let's start with garlic. For brooding chicks, you can prepare a garlic tonic by crushing 250 grams of fresh garlic and soaking it in 5 liters of clean water overnight. Strain it, then give it in drinking water for three consecutive mornings per week during the first two weeks. This boosts immunity, improves gut flora, and reduces early chick mortality. In broilers or layers, the same tonic can be used once or twice weekly to prevent outbreaks of E. coli, respiratory infections, and digestive disorders. If you're using garlic powder, go with 1 to 2 grams per kilogram of feed, especially useful in feed formulations where water treatments are hard to manage. For oregano, you can use dried oregano leaves at 2 to 3 grams per kilogram of feed or essential oil at 1 milliliter per liter of water. The oil is stronger, so use it sparingly and ideally during outbreaks or as a replacement for antibiotics in treatment cycles. Farmers in Machacos reported faster recovery from respiratory issues when they alternated oregano oil with multivitamins for five days during flare-ups. They called it hot water therapy because oregano warms the gut and improves circulation, especially in cold seasons. Now, thyme. It is one of the best kept secrets in herbal poultry care. Thyme tea, yes, literally tea, can be made by boiling 100 grams of dried thyme in 3 liters of water for 10 minutes cooling it and offering it as drinking water for three days during or after antibiotic use. This flushes out toxins, settles the gut, and restores appetite. Alternatively, add thyme powder at 2 grams per kilogram of feed during grower and finisher phases for improved feed efficiency. One farmer in Kitui saw her broiler FCR drop from 2.1 to 1.85 over a four-week period just by rotating thyme and garlic in the water line every three days. But here's the most important part. Do not use these herbs blindly. Rotate them, rest them. Just like with antibiotics, overuse can lead to resistance or simply reduced efficacy. Do not exceed three consecutive days without a break. Always strain your mixtures to prevent blockages in nipple drinkers. And never mix two essential oils in the same container unless you've done compatibility tests or followed a tested protocol. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. But Dominic, aren't these things just traditional herbs? My grandmother used to use garlic on cows, but this is commercial poultry. I hear you, and it is a valid concern. The key difference is dosage, consistency, and scientific backing. We are not talking about sprinkling leaves for the sake of it. We're talking about bioactive compounds with documented effects in poultry trials used under controlled protocols. Others might say, I tried garlic once and it did nothing. Let me ask you this. Did you use it on day-old chicks or on birds already in respiratory distress? Did you use fresh cloves or pre-cut garlic stored in the sun? Did you measure or just guess? Because just like antibiotics, natural remedies must be used correctly at the right time and for the right reason. Garlic cannot replace vaccination. Oregano cannot fix poor brooding. Time cannot cure bad feed. 
but when used properly, they can reduce your disease burden, improve gut health, and lower your dependency on synthetic drugs. So let me bring it home for you. First, the three best natural antibiotics for poultry that are backed by science and field tested on Kenyan farms are garlic, oregano, and thyme. Second, each of these herbs has specific dosages, timings, and methods of use that determine whether you get results or just wasted effort. Third, natural antibiotics are not magic bullets. They work best when your farm management is solid, good litter, proper brooding, clean water, balanced nutrition, and biosecurity. Start small. Try a garlic water regimen for your next batch of chicks. Rotate oregano oil during cold weeks. Brew time tea when you see stress signs in your flock. And above all, observe, record, learn. Keep a health diary. Watch the droppings. Monitor weight gain. Ask your vet. Share what works with your fellow farmers. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly poultry tips, and share this with a farmer who needs it. Your success is our mission, and the healthier your birds, the better our communities. You do not need to spend $50 on antibiotics every cycle. Sometimes the answer is growing right next to your fence.